Hi, welcome to another video, um, an EPC walkthrough. So here we have a uh, semi-detached house and uh, it definitely looks like it's got external wall insulation on it, which probably leads me to believe that it may be a system build. Would have to have a look inside though to, to verify that. But um, yeah, so uh, some scaffolding on the front, chimney pot, so we'd have to check for open chimneys, uh, measure the thickness of the external wall insulation, uh, let's go and have a look. So there's a gas box present. And there's a lip of the external wall insulation. So there we can see that it's sticking out 100 mil with the tape measure. And there's a bit of a reveal here. It's probably polystyrene. The external wall insulation goes all the way around. So we don't worry about any alternate walls on this property. Um, and also we can then see the flue for the boiler which uh, looks like quite a new one, judging by that render patch. And then you can see the insulation there as some of the uh, pebble dash is broken away. And then there's uh, another measurement. So inside the property we have a uh, Worcester Green Star 24i Junior, fairly older model now, but performs well. And uh, just here's the gas council, I always write that down just in case. 4731186 NG for natural gas. And we have a Drayton programmer, an LP20RF. Here we have the uh, boiler pressure, so pretty low. Um, temperature of the radiators, that's how quickly the house heats up, not how, what the temperature of the house is. So I'm expecting to see a thermostat, let's go and see if we can find one. And here we go, not too far away, a Drayton RF. So yeah, you turn your temperature around and you press set. The flashing light is the target temperature and the solid light is the current room temperature. So at the moment we are currently at 13 degrees. If we turn that and then put it onto 14, 15, press set and hold, 15 will flash. And then we have a picture of a flame because 15 is greater than 13 and it will try to bring it up to temperature and then shut off. So we'll put it back on a frost setting set, press and hold, 10 degrees. And then the flame has gone out because 10 is lower than 13. Simple. But it would only work if the programmer allows it to. So this is the lounge, uh, a telltale sign of a system build property. Massive iron bars, metal bars, and the window openings. Radiator with um, TRVs. An old air vent from probably a back boiler that used to be here. And uh, the fireplace has been removed and blocked up. So we don't have to worry about that one. Glazing, we have uh, double glazing, 16 mil thick. I uh, don't see any date stamps on the inter intermittent strip. Quite often you get date stamps here on the reveals of the window, but it's also good to check these because uh, you've got your draft proof strips as well. So as a UPV sable double glazed, then you've probably got your draft proof strips. So unknown date double glazing, 16 mil UPVC. A low energy light bulb, compact fluorescent lighting. I believe the electric meter is in the understairs cupboard. There doesn't seem to be a way of opening it. So with my trusty screwdriver that I carry in my bag, I've managed to open the door and there is the electric meter. That's a single weight. And then there's a uh, compliant fuse board made of metal. And there's all the breakers. Old gas main coming out the ground down there. Let's go upstairs. So up in the loft we have uh, Gable wall, made out of block work. It's definitely not cavity because we've seen those metal bars and the external wall insulation, so it's not been cavity filled. The uh, shared wall, unknown. Maybe cavity wall, unfilled, or system build, but it's, it's block work. So, you know, I might just hedge on the side of caution and put unknown. So we've got loft insulation all over the place with this horrible, like, chopped up newspaper stuff everywhere getting all over the place dug a little hole stick the ruler in and we'll get a measurement to keep the auditors happy but it's probably 200 mil let's have a look okay that looks about 250 mil 
So we've got the ruler in and then we can see the level of the, uh, the insulation. So 250, so 50 mil of uh, chopped up newspaper and uh, say 200 mil of uh, this new spun glass fibre stuff. And then a nice overview of the loft to show that I've checked all over the place. There we go. So radiator with a thermostatic radiator valve, another compact fluorescent lighting, uh, bedroom two, radiator, light bulb that isn't a low energy bulb. So we haven't got hundred percent. We'll have to count them and then work out a percentage. And again, there's the metal bars holding up the external wall. Third bedroom, this one at the front, you can see the scaffolding. So uh, another TRV and a radiator, same type of glazing, unknown date, UPVC, 16 mil double glazing. How about the light bulb? Another compact fluorescent. So I think we've got nine compact fluorescents and one of them is an incandescent bulb. Bathroom, not very nice, but hey, there you go. It's an electric shower, no bath. Okay, now for the site notes. So today's date is the 14th of the 11th, 24. Then we have it's a rental, social. It's a house, it's semi-detached. Suburban, no extensions, it has gas. It has a single rate electric meter. I'm gonna measure it internally. It is not a flat. It has three bedrooms, a lounge, and a kitchen doesn't have a table with four more chairs. So that is four habitable rooms and all four of them are heated. We have nine fixed outlets from the ceilings, eight of which are low energy bulbs. So we'll have to work out a percentage. It has a, an electric shower, so one zero zero, built in the fifties, double glazing, Normal amount of windows, that's going to change with RDSAT 10, but don't worry about that till it becomes a rule. And then we have an unknown date for the glazing, UPVC double glazed, 100% uh, double glazing and 16 mil thick. No open fires because we saw the open hole in the lounge that has been blocked up. The opening is less than 200 millimeters, so that means it's not an opening. Uh, naturally ventilated. The draft proofing strips are on the front, well, on the side doors and also all the windows because they're UPVC and we opened one to check. Two doors. It has no conservatory. The water heating comes from the main system with no cylinder. Uh, there's no secondary heating. Okay, and we have one main heating system, which is a boiler. It runs on mains gas, two radiators, and it's fan assisted flue, and it's a Worcester. Green Star 24i Junior. And let's just get the gas council number to be sure. 4731186 Natural Gas. Okay, so we have a programmer which is on the boiler, a room thermostat which was in the hallway, and thermostatic radiator valves which were on all the radiators. No heat recovery. So the main building was system build. Okay, system build. The wall was 250 mil thick. Okay, but it had external wall insulation measured at 100. Okay, the uh, party wall I'm gonna put down as unknown because uh, the, the part that I could see was uh, block work, but um, all the walls are like minus the 100 mil external insulation, 150 mil thick, so it's really thin concrete construction with that uh, tubular frame system inside you can see coming out by the windows right so alternate wall none floors ground floor solid as built roof pitch access to loft with 250 mil of insulation okay no room in the roof turnover no renewables and a nice easy floor plan party wall Heat loss perimeter, doors, bedrooms, loft hatch, boiler, gas, electric meter, stairwell, party wall, 
heat loss perimeter and we need to measure this measurement and this measurement and then room heights. Let's get measuring. So I've got myself a new Lekia. Disto D2, same again, but a bit more modern. Nicer finish to it. Quite expensive, but check out the, um, the description and I'll drop a link for that. They are solid. My last one lasted, well, since 2008 or 10, something like that. So 14, 15, 16, 14 or 16 years. Anyway, let's get measuring. So find a good spot in the corner, fire it across the room. See my red dot? Go. Right, so that's 6228. All right, let's put it onto um, a meter squared. Let's try again. 6227, one mil difference. Nice and accurate. And then over there to the door, with my ladders in view. So 6069, so 37.80 meters squared. 6069, 6227, and then a meter squared, 37.80. Okay, room heights. So I found a spot just at the top, bottom of the stairs. Ping that, so 2.41, and then at the top of the stairs, So this radiator doesn't have a thermostatic radiator valve, so it's called the bypass. So if you were to shut all the thermostatic radiator valves and all the radiators, the pump wouldn't overwork, so all the water would go through this one. But the reason that this one has been chosen is because the room thermostat is in here, and that's what controls the temperature. So quite often you'll have one radiator that doesn't have a thermostatic radiator valve, sometimes in a bathroom, sometimes in the room where the room thermostat is. Okay. So room height downstairs, 241, 243 upstairs. Now we want to know the heat loss perimeter, which is pretty straightforward. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Carry two, 12, 14, 15, 16. Carry one, two, plus one, three, three sixes, 18. 18, 37. Heat loss perimeter. And now the party wall is 6227, so 623. 623. 623. And then now I just take a photograph of the site notes, both sides, and then save all the photos that I've taken for audit purposes to a folder on my phone, then upload it to the cloud when I'm on Wi Fi. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, well, there we go. Thank you. Bye.